Fantasy is the first video game in the Fantasy series. Gameplay Based on the Isle of Gelner, Fantasy allows a group of six characters to adventure the countryside and try to defeat the evil Black Knights and their sorcerer leader, Nicodemus. Players could choose to be one of six character classes thief, fighter, ranger, monk, priest and wizard and could also choose between the races of human, dwarf, halfling, elf or gnome. By selecting random, one could also choose from ogre, troll, pixie, gnoll, orc, lizard man, minotaur, and other races. The game was notable for taking advantage of a broad mix of styles for the game, a town window which allowed purchasing in various shops, a top-down style dungeon crawl view, a top-down world map, and a separate combat window. Each character class had unique fighting styles and options and all characters could choose their strategy for a particular round in the turn-based combat segments. After a combat, experience was awarded, but the players would have to return to town to purchase their levels if they qualified. Reception With more than 50,000 copies sold in North America, Fantasy was very successful for SSI. It was the company's best-selling Commodore game as of late 1987. Game reviewers Hartley and Patty Lesser in 1987 complimented the Atari Street version of Fantasy in their The Role of Computers. Column in Dragon No. 120 1987, recommending that Atari Street owners should consider fantasy as a game well worth their attention. ANALOG in 1988 called Fantasy and its sequel the best fantasy role-playing games for the Atari 8-bit. In 1991 and 1993 Computer Gaming World Scorpia called Fantasy a surprisingly good little game, with many interesting features. Fantasy I, Fantasy III, and Questron II were later re-released together, and reviewed in 1994 in Dragon No. 203 by Sandy Peterson in the Eye of the Monitor column. Peterson gave the compilation 2 out of 5 stars. <laughs>